Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm back today with uh, the steam engine that I built uh, a little while ago, a couple of months ago, and I wanted to show um, the flywheel that I uh, made for it. So um, here it is, in fact. Um, a couple of weeks ago I started to get interested in uh, having a flywheel for it. I didn't have one and um, nevertheless the, uh, the, the engine was working just fine given that uh, probably it's a two-cylinder and uh, double acting engine so it uh, really doesn't all need all that much uh, inertia or momentum from, uh, from a flywheel to, to work well but uh, despite that I wanted to have one and I wanted to at least uh, uh, work through the experience of uh, casting one. So here it is. Um, I, um, I cast it in, uh, in lead and I'm not a big fan of that material but um, it, uh, I, I, for, for a first project I, I thought it was uh, a good material to start with. There it is. Running nice and smooth. I can run it pretty slow. It's pretty much as slow as I can run it. And, uh, actually, I'm starting to hear the uh, pressure relief valve uh, starting to pop. The flywheel is uh, turning, is tracking really nice and straight. I, uh, I'm really uh, happy with that. Um, but it, it, it involved quite a bit of machining. It uh, certainly wasn't like that when it came out of the hole. Um, so I had to, um, to machine uh, the surface and both sides until uh, everything was uh, nice and straight. Uh, but once again, on the, on the drill press uh, with a special uh, cutting uh, tool that uh, is uh, normally it goes on the, on the lathe and the, they're, they're cheap to buy, they're about uh, five bucks um, so it's, uh, it's no big deal and I uh, hold it in a, in a vise um, against the, uh, the drill press and uh, so it works, it works pretty good. I connected my uh, three uh, Christmas trees there and uh, as you can tell I have a uh, capacitor here of uh, 22,000 uh, microfarads and I have a little uh, diode there to uh, prevent it from uh, discharging uh, back into the, uh, the generator and the, and the motor so and now yeah the steam is, is escaping from uh, the pressure relief valve yeah so we got about the 8 psi in there so that's perfect for this uh, for this boiler the, the boiler can uh, go up to about the 30 but I, uh, I try not to exceed about 15. Ooh. There it is with uh, a load of about, uh, it's not quite, uh, it's not a huge load, it's, it's probably under 100 uh, uh, milliamps. 
Well, it's kind of nice to have uh, something uh, hooked up to, to the generator. You can tell the, uh, the engine is working a little harder. There it is. Um, so uh, I have a few pictures uh, after this uh, video, so feel free to uh, um, have a look. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.